Hello, hello, hello. This is Johnny Mark Revan coming to you from an undisclosed location. We got a good one. We've got we've got a sovereign citizen eruption here. It takes a little while to develop, but trust me, it's worth it. Let's do this thing, shall we? Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is the time of the pretrial conference plea docket. And let me make inquiry. Who would like to be first on the docket? Your Honor, if I may, and I hate yes. to step on the line, but Mr. Wilkins is here in the office. I have several others coming in the office as well. Okay. Um, we And Jim, we can go ahead and proceed um, with Mr. Wilkinson. I'm not a mister, but I mean, never, I've never referred to this guy. Just people call me Don. Well, I, I, uh, I never hear of this Mr. Wilkinson. But let's. Okay. All right, before going on the record, uh, Jim, announcements to the court. Your Honor, I've been in discussions with the state and my client as well. It's my understanding my client would guilty or no contest. Do you have a question? Um, um, I'll, plead, I'll plead guilty. To okay, that. we'll plead guilty to uh, the single count, count one of the information the state would dismiss the remaining counts. At time of sentencing, Your Honor, which will not, of course, be today, but down the road. Um, we think Mr. Wilkinson is likely to be a C on the grid. Uh, we think he is likely to uh, fall under at least the uh, category we could fall under Senate Bill 123 eligibility. Okay. With that being said, it's court's understanding Mr. Wilkinson will be entering a plea of guilty to count one, count one only, possession of methamphetamine, a level five drug felony. And Mr. Sweeney, is that your understanding of the plea negotiations? It is, Your Honor. Um, additionally, the uh, state has agreed to dismiss all remaining charges. <clears throat> and there uh, would be a sentencing joint recommendation that if for some reason um, he wouldn't qualify for Senate Bill 123, that the state would join in a recommendation for probation. Thank you, Mr. Sweeney. Rhonda, we'll go ahead and go on the record at this point. Cases entitled State of Kansas versus Brian J. Wilkinson, 23CR302. <laughs> The defendant, Mr. Wilkinson, appears in person and by court appointed counsel, Jim Watts. This matter does regularly come before the court this date on the pretrial conference plea docket and announcements to the court, Mr. Watts. Your Honor, as previously noted, it's my understanding Mr. Wilkinson will plead guilty to count one of the information, the remaining counts dismissed. Thank you, Mr. Watts. And once again, Mr. Sweeney, is that the state's understanding of the plea negotiations? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wilkinson, Mr. Watts has advised the court that you do wish to enter a plea of guilty to count one, count one only, possession of methamphetamine, a severity level five drug felony. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, there are a number of questions that I do need to ask you in order to ascertain whether you are knowingly and voluntarily entering your plea. And sir, I'll need you to speak up and directly into the microphone there. Sir, how old are you? I am 55 years old. And are you married or single? I live with my the love of my life. We live as married, but we are not uh, um, um, le legally 
married to the state any longer. Love, exciting and new. A little bit closer to Mr. Wilkinson, please, Mr. Walk. I, I will try and speak up, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Your Honor, I don't have a separate mic. It's part of the camera package, so I don't have a separate mic I can move. Okay, I, I understand. Sir, are you employed? I am totally disabled from traumatic brain injury due to a motorcycle accident in 1998. What is the highest education level you have obtained? I... Uh, I have some certifications in insurance. I have uh, some college, but the Are, highest actual is um, my high school diploma. Are you making your plea voluntarily? Yes, I am making this plea voluntarily. Have there been any promises or threats made to you which have influenced you to plead guilty? Absolutely not, Your Honor. I understand there have been certain plea negotiations entered into between your counsel and counsel for the state. Do you understand, even though the attorneys may make certain recommendations in regards to sentence, the decision in regards to appropriate sentence is mine pursuant to the sentencing guidelines for the state of Kansas. Yes, sir. When you plead guilty, you surrender and waive certain legal rights you would otherwise have if you chose to go to trial. Do you understand you have the right to a speedy trial where your guilt or innocence? I have to thank Marion for this. Uh, it's, it's a great clip. And like I said, stick with it. Trust me, it gets worse. Would be determined by a jury or if you chose to waive a jury by a judge. I do understand that my due process rights have already been violated in that matter, and I have not been served, Your Honor. Can you please take your name for the record, ma'am? Do you not? Okay, thank you. You understand your due process rights have been what? have already been my my speedy trial has already been um broken but i still want to just take care of this matter um bye. by pleading guilty and doing some drug treatment um, in this matter if that is what you choose to do. If that's how you choose to sentence me under the Senate Bill 123. All right. Are, are you, um, are you objecting to entering your plea here today? No, sir. Your speedy trial rights have been, um, abridged or they have not been afforded to you uh, no sir I, I am willingly entering this plea to get this hand this matter handled because i believe that uh, that would be what is in the best interest of the state for lowering the cost and making this go away and and stopping the uh, you know handling the matter so that i can do what is best for myself. All right. Well, the court is not concerned with what's in the best interest of the state at this point. I'm I'm concerned about you entering a voluntary and willing plea. Is is that how you wish to proceed today or not? I appoint you, Judge. As my fiduciary trustee, okay, here we go. dismiss this case. I accept all charges for value. In return, please use my exemption as post settlement and closure for this case with my CUSIP number and auditor's account number 509-826810 as this account is prepaid and exempt from levy. 
I am the beneficiary of this constructive trust, and I appoint you, Judge, as my fiduciary trustee under the Power of Appointment Act of 1951. I wish for you to dismiss this case, eliminate it from the record, and release the orders of the court to me immediately. Okay, well, <clears throat> Mr. Wilkinson, We'll take up your concern at the heel of the docket today, and we'll go ahead and at this point close out uh, what was commenced as a proposed plea hearing. And Mr. Wilkinson, I'll come back to you, and it will be a, a bit of time, probably be about an hour before we're back with you. Oh, sweet Jesus! What? <laughs> Further, Mr. Watts? No, Your Honor, thank you. And Mr. Sweeney? No, Your Honor. <clears throat> Board is in recess. <clears throat> well, there you have it. It, it was good. It, I know that's a short one, but, the, you know, and it starts slow, but you can see you need the buildup. You need the build up because he he's just he's just itching to go full soft set the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's my second time through, and I, I realized that all of the reactions were good. Everybody else was had the same thought. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, there you have it. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Oh man, I gotta get together. <laughs>